Here's an amazing story for you folks. A life-saving surgery ended up being a life-altering experience. He was just shy of four years old. When he went in for emergency surgery, he slipped out of consciousness, and that's when he says he entered into heaven. He met people he never knew, like his grandfather and St. John the Baptist. Colton Burpo and his father, da uh, Todd, that is, highlight this remarkable experience in the new book, Heaven is for Real. And they both join me this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Gretchen. Good morning. What an amazing story. Uh, Todd, let me start with you. You're facing a crisis. Your son, an emergency surgery. You think you might not be able to save him. He recovers. It's a miracle. But then you hear a story you never thought you'd hear. Yeah, we uh, went through uh, the scariest uh, uh, ordeal of our lives, watching our son suffer. He was misdiagnosed. He had appendicitis. And they thought he had the stomach flu, and by the time they uh, figured out what was really wrong with him, we figured his appendix had probably been burst for about five days. Mm -hmm. And he was one really just sick, really uh, very sick child. And uh, when we finally got out of the hospital, uh, all of a sudden, it, it took a long time, but he started sharing stories and things with us, and all of a sudden we realized something special happened while Colton was in the hospital. Right, because Colton, you were able at that age for to tell your parents that you were above them while you were being operated on, and where did you see them? Well, I saw my dad in a little room talking to God, and then I saw my mom in another room talking on the phone and talking to one of her friends. And Todd, there was no way he would have known about that, right? No, I, while those events were happening, he was in surgery under anesthesia, and when he starts describing where we were at and what we were doing, I, I was stunned. I was like, how does he know that? Mm -hmm. That's where our story began. And then he also started to tell you about Pop, who was your grandfather. Was your grandfather his grandfather? Anyway, he had been deceased for 30 years? Yeah, he was, it was my grandfather, uh, Colton's great-grandfather, and I was really close to him as a child. And uh, Pop was a special person in my life, but he was killed in a car wreck before I turned seven. He can recognize pictures of Pop as a young man, talks about the time I spent with him as a child. It's incredible. You also, Colton, say that God is a very, very big person, right? Yeah, he can actually fit the entire world into his hands. Wow. So many people want to know what you now know. What about Jesus? Well, Jesus, he had a rough but kind face, sea blue eyes, and a smile that lit up the heavens. And what about old people? They are not up in heaven, right? No, nope, just young adults. Yeah, the good news, Gretchen, is when you go to heaven, it'll be the young version. <laughs> A lot of us, including myself, uh, like to hear that part of it. Uh, Todd, real quickly, I want to get what happened about a miscarried child that you and your wife had and what Colton told you. Yeah, uh, we were in the living room one day, and um, just like any typical day, and he's four at the time, he kind of comes bouncing in the room, and he just goes up to his mom and says, Mom, I have two sisters. And it took us a while to ask him, what are you talking about? And he just looks at his mom and says, Mom, you had a baby die in your tummy, didn't wow. you? And just time stopped. And she's like, who told you that? And right. Colton's like, well, she did. She told me she died in your tummy. Amazing. And it just, wow, yeah. Amazing story. If you will stick around for us, we'll be right back in just two minutes with Appreciate more amazing it. stories.